Okay guys, today we are here with my boy E. You'd be surprised the kind of transformation that we can do on some hair like this. So you guys can see here, you guys can see here like from far, right? It looks like there may not be much going on up here. And most people would say, man, just take it off. People told you ever before, man, just take it off. But that's not necessary. If you have the right skill, you find the right barber, you can definitely make something happen with this. What we're literally gonna do is blend this whole area to make it look like it's all just cut down to like an even one length. So we are gonna purposely cut this hair uneven. We are gonna make it perfectly imperfect. So that way we can blend the dark areas into the light areas. And then we're gonna complement it with a nice high and tight bald fade all the way up. So you won't even be able to tell that the hair is thinning by the end of this haircut. And then of course, we're gonna give it a nice solid beard shape up. You wanna do the same as always, right? Nice wide beard, pretty natural mustache, right? Nothing crazy. All right, cool. So I think you guys are really gonna love this and uh, your clients will too once you learn these skills that's it's, it's honestly like some of my favorite haircuts to do is cuts like this where it's like you make it from nothing into something you know what i mean i love doing those it's from the other barbers i feel don't think about a lot of the time bro because i mean that last haircut i got i didn't come with you i didn't make an appointment and okay no <laughs> I, I was just sad bro i mean I, I feel like the person was new yeah so you know whatever Man. But, man, they left like, you know, all this like black here and then, then I was like, bro, it doesn't even look like a fade. Oh, like it was way too dark the, up there the, still? what they did up here to my beard, they went in more here and less here. Okay. They, they butchered me all around. So we'll be doing a little bit of a repair job too. I'm only getting appointments from now on. I appreciate that. Hey, that's what it's about, dude. That's literally what it's about. <laughs> I've got them butchered twice without you, bro, and I, yeah. can't, I can't do that no more. Hey, man. Like well, it was my job to get you back. Yeah, it's my job to get you back. So we'll be doing a little bit of repair work too. But yeah, look, that's a perfect example, guys. Look, so what we're gonna do, now you could start with a bigger guard and slowly work your way down, right? So what I'm gonna do is first, put your head right about here. So what I'm gonna do first is look, I'm, I'm looking at this hair here in this area. I wanna see how a, a 1.5 can do from this area here. This is all darker than the rest, right? So if I take this one and a half guard and I'll go against the grain, that's pretty close. That's looking pretty close for a nice solid blend, right? But I think I can take it actually one level lower. I'm gonna go with like a one guard. Because even though that this looks a lot more similar, you can still tell that the grains of the hair are thicker than the hairs here. So let's take that one. So I'll start here with the number one guard open. And again, I'm just going over those areas where the hairs grow a little thicker. I'm gonna take that number one guard. Let's take that lever right about halfway close. And now I think I found my golden length. The one guard with the lever about halfway closed, I'm gonna take it all the way around all this dark area because I need to set my foundation for the haircut. I wanna make sure that the top is looking right, then we can jump into the bald fade. So let's go ahead and keep on going here with this one guard right about halfway closed. And I'm only gonna be going over it, over the, the dark areas. And guys, these, these skills are so important to learn, man, because I mean, kind of like how you heard my client explain just now, you know, these are skills that make you invaluable to a client, man. Like, if they forget to book an appointment and they have to book, you know, they have to try to walk in somewhere else with someone who's not familiar with their hair, you know, the, the results just won't be the same and they'll be able to feel the difference, right? So, look, so that looks really good. Right now, we already have that one guard with the lever halfway closed all the way around here. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna preserve as much of this thinner area as possible. So I'm gonna trim it down with the grain. I'm gonna start here with the one guard open. I'm pretty sure that we are gonna end up lowering it, but I like to start better safe than sorry, right? So, if we start here with this one guard open, going down with the grain, so that way we can lay down these hairs that are thinner. Now, it's not cutting much. You know, you'll be able to see here, like you wanna watch this hair as it feeds into this guard. There's not a lot going on there. So let's go ahead and drop it back down to about halfway on that lever. Now I'm skipping over, you see this area right here where it's thinner? I'm not touching that area. I have the lever all the way closed now for with the grain. I'm stopping just before that area. Because if there's not a lot of hair in that spot, I'm not gonna remove any of it. So it really is, like I said in the beginning, it's you're giving a perfectly imperfect cut, right? It's not about having it even, like actually even. What it is, it's, it's about giving the illusion that it's even. So all through here, as long as there's hair growing in that area, I'm with this tight one guard going down with the grain, and I'm skipping over air, any areas that may not have as much hair. So notice I'm skipping that spot, but I am gonna trim right here on the hairline because there is some hair growing solid there. 
Okay, so this area is looking really solid. It's all put together. Now what we're gonna do is I need to make sure that this front edge hits as crispy as possible. Now this means that we need to put some high percentage alcohol all along the front edge. This whole area here, I wanna make sure that all of this the excess oils, any dirt, any sweat or anything like that. I want all that to be completely dried up. By the time that we're done fading, I will let this air dry. We'll jump straight into the bald fade, like a nice high one to make sure that we like, pretty much just keep doing more masking work. And by the time that we're done with the, uh, with the bald fade, that front edge is gonna be ready to attack. So let's go ahead and start here, putting our bald line in. And this bald line is gonna be pretty high. You know, we're gonna be getting rid of most of the vertical bar because the thing is that the longer this vertical bar is, the bigger the forehead looks, right? We don't wanna draw any attention down here. We're just gonna want them to have a nice solid corner blended really tight up into this fade. So if we start this bald line all the way up here. What's up, homie? Okay, let's just create a little bit of space here so we can make sure that we can like really focus on that transition from clipper bald to trimmer bald to shaver bald. Right, those three different levels of, of bald is what really helps set your fades aside from others. Okay, so now that that baseline is set, now let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of space to blend this first panel. I'm gonna wanna create it here with this half guard all the way closed. Now that, I took it all the way up to the corner, all the way up to the recession corner. And again, this is because we want it to be a nice, tight, high fade that blends into the light spots that are on my boy's head. Again, like I said, all the way up to that recession point. So from this point, you can choose whether you want to focus on fading this part out first or whether you want to focus on blending this part out first. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I blend this top area out first. So that way at the end, all we have to do is worry about just a little bit of flicking out at the very bottom. So what that's gonna involve, and remember, we already worked with the one guard, like all the way up here. If there was a lot more length, then I would say, you know, go ahead and go back, back over the, the one and a half, the one length. Um, but really in this case, all we're gonna have to do is jump in here with this half guard with the lever open. Remember that line we put in with the half guard closed. So if we're softening it up with the half lever open, and then we take it about halfway, and then just slowly work our way down until we are all the way back down. A Little bit of lever play in there. I just noticed you see like these areas that are still a little bit darker than the rest you know you can just tell that the hairs are thicker that's the area that i'm going over and attacking with this half guard open you know the best way honestly like whether you're helping somebody grow their beard out for the first time whether you're helping somebody have like a high fade on a thinning head um you know the the best advice that i can give you is trim the hairs that grow thick and leave the hairs that Grow, already grow um, that grow thin so eventually they all kind of blend and mesh together so that's why I'm not doing a whole lot of action here in the middle right I need to leave, let those hairs be alone and do my best to blend all the hairs around it okay guys so now what we're doing now all we have to do we already took care of the top blend the side blend and you can see the haircut is already almost done like some shops may let him walk out like this but that is not why he books with me. He books with me to have that highly detailed haircut. All we have to do now is just barely fade out the very bottom line that we put in there, starting with the clipper close, and then just notch by notch working my way up. Remember, I already did this line all the way closed. So for me to go ahead and attack it, I'm just gonna do one notch open and then just incrementally work my way higher and higher every time that I go up a notch. So I'm going up a tiny little bit here going up a tiny bit here and we'll complete the same process over here now if you notice too I, I ended up switching over to a bristle brush because now it's not like we're combing through any bulk anymore right we are down tight to the skin just working on the detailed the detailed blend so sometimes if you brush if you uh, switch over to a bristle brush it kind of just helps remove the debris you know all the hairs that are, have already been trimmed so that way you can just make sure that you're looking at the actual fade and you don't see any leftover hair sitting on top making it look like it's darker than it really is. Okay, now you remember in the beginning I was talking about three different levels of bald, right? So right here we have clipper bald because we started this fade with the clipper all the way closed. Now we have different levels of trimmer bald. So if you really wanna get detailed, I would recommend starting like this with the, with the trimmer upside down. 
this is going to get it as tight as you possibly can with a trimmer. So if you do this motion all the way around, this is the tightest level right here that you can get with a trimmer. Now to fade that out, same tool, but instead of going upside down like that, let's go ahead and just flick that line out right there. So this is how you finesse the trimmer bald lens in this fade. All right, so that thing is like super, super tight now. So if a client wants you just to leave it at trimmer length, then you can pretty much just do that all the way down. You know, let's say if a client's skin, for example, is too sensitive that they can't handle the shaver, then you could just finish it off like that. But if you really want to get that extra, extra smooth bald finish, go ahead and take the rest of this hair out. And now we're going to get to talking about how the shaver length of bald can be finessed. Now you might notice here, you can see that little line of demarcation and we did that on purpose. So I'm gonna show you why that benefits me and how it helps me to keep my, my, and how it helps me keep my bald fade super, super organized. Now this is the reason why I started my trimmer bald length the way that I did and it left this little line of demarcation now, right? Because now all we have to do is go in with your foil shaver and now you see that line right there? If I can just go right up to that line and softly release. Flawless transition, right? Now we're going to do this all the way around. So the reason, like every step that I tell you guys to do, man, there's definitely thought behind it. There's a reason for it. And then if you need further assurance on softening that line up, you can go ahead and go down with the grain as well and just lay down all those little stubbles for a flawless transition. So then of course, before you guys move on, you always wanna make sure that you just check behind the ears. You can see the little hairs that may have been left behind just because you are focused on moving through the steps, right? Getting the fade done. And that's not a problem, right? Efficiency is important, but the difference in between efficiency and rushing is that if you're rushing, you're so focused on getting to the next step, you forget to come back and look at little details like this, right? So just make sure that you keep this in mind at all times, and just make sure that the job truly is done before you move on to the beard. Your head back. Your head back right there. Yeah. All right, guys, and as far as lining up the beard and, and shaping up the beard, it doesn't have to be a super complicated process. I like to go in first, for example. If you want to have a faded sideburn, then I'm going to start here with my clipper all the way open, fully pressed against the skin here, right? And I'm going to start to remove the weight off the sideburn, but as I work my way down into the beard, I elevate up off the skin, right? I start with pressure at the top, and then I elevate. So the same way how we fade square up and down, I do the same thing on the beard, right? Keep it tight here at first, and then lighten up as you go down. Starting off with the clipper all the way open definitely is a good way to do this because I feel like it's just a safer way to start, you know? And then as far as this goes here, once you do that, you know, you can start with the clipper, tilt it upwards a little bit with the lever all the way open, and then flat with the lever open. Then about halfway close, one more notch, and then one more notch. Now the thing is that every time that we moved higher and higher in that blend, incrementally smaller, higher movements, little by little, you just moved higher and higher throughout that blend. And then you'll repeat the same on the other side. And then as far as shaping up the very bottom, what I like to do, always anchor yourself. So for example, my pinky will always be on his chest, right? And then that will allow me to leverage that with the clipper all the way closed while I'm shaping up. Because the thing is, if I don't anchor myself too, then I feel like, I don't know, it's just like leaving too much at risk. If you guys do happen to have a pair of uh, curved shears available to you, you know, in your local uh, barber supplies or whatever, I feel like they really help when it comes to shaping up beards, when it comes to shaping up froze, you know, any tough curly hair like this that stays in place once you pick it out, I feel like these help a lot.
All right, and here you guys can see exactly what we were talking about. A nice solid bald fade blended into a thinner top. And then just totally depending on how high you take that fade and you know what I'm saying, you clean up the skin real good, you can get a real nice sharp edge up on anything. And this is 100% natural guys too. No paint, no fibers, no enhancements. So if you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, man. I'll see you guys on the next video.